Is it the right time to buy or sell NEO stock? Today, we'll take a deep dive into NEO, providing you with an even more detailed analysis than our initial report published on our website on Monday, February 12, 2024. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of January 9, 2024, our system has identified NEO as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.95. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. NEO experienced a loss of minus 19.58%. This equates to an average daily loss of minus 0.82% since it was categorized as a sell candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a significant downward trend, indicating a potential further decline. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected change of minus 19.09% over the next three months. This suggests a possible return ranging from minus 30.58% to 12.45%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected change of minus 14.37% over the next year. This indicates a potential return ranging from minus 24.90% to 100.03%. In terms of price, this translates to a range of $4.57 to $12.16 after one year. Our latest update on NEO stock reveals that it closed at $6.08 on Monday, marking a 2.53% increase. On Monday, the 12th of February 2024, NEO stock experienced a 2.53% gain, rising from $5.93 to $6.08. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 6.44%, reaching a low of $5.90 and a high of $6.28. In the last 10 days, the stock has fallen in six instances, resulting in a cumulative decrease of minus 0.98%. Notably, the increase in volume on the last trading day, along with the price, indicates a positive technical sign. Additionally, there was a total of 18 million more shares traded compared to the previous day, with a total of 43 million shares bought and sold, amounting to approximately $263.19 million. Over the course of the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price was $16.18, while the lowest price was $5.30. At present, the stock is trading at a value that is 62.42%, or $10.10, .10, below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 90.92%, or $60.91, below the all-time high, which was recorded on January 11, 2021, at $66.99. Analyst Ratings On Monday, June 12, 2023, UBS gave NEO a grade of neutral with a recommended action of hold. On Monday, June 12, 2023, Citigroup gave NEO a grade of buy with a recommended action of hold. On Tuesday, March 14, 2023, JP Morgan gave NEO a grade of neutral with a recommended action of downgrade. On Thursday, March 2, 2023, Telsey Advisory gave NEO a grade of neutral with a recommended action of downgrade. On Thursday, December 29, 2022, Citigroup gave NEO a grade of hold with a recommended action of hold. Analysts have given NEO stock a general rating of neutral. They rate the PE ratio as a strong buy and the price to book ratio as strong buy. However, for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong sell rating. Here are the key signals for NEO. On Monday, February 5, 2024, a buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point. Since then, the stock has risen by 13.01%. This indicates that there is a potential for further growth until a new top pivot is found. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence, MACD. 
Both volume and price are increasing, which is considered a positive technical signal. However, there are also some negative signals that may impact the stock's short-term development. The short-term moving average gives a buy signal, but the long-term average suggests a general sell signal. This means that the stock's forecast is more negative. Resistance from the long-term moving average is expected at $6.97 on further gains, while support from the short-term average is anticipated at $5.81 on a fall. A break above the long-term average would be another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average would strengthen the general sell signal. Today, I want to share with you some other interesting signals to consider in your trading strategy. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, which recently gave a buy signal. Another indicator to look at is the pivots, which generated a buy signal 6 days ago. Bollinger Bands, a popular tool, indicated a buy signal 37 days ago. The short-term moving average also provided a buy signal 6 days ago. However, the long-term moving average gave a sell signal 25 days ago. Additionally, the relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 23 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart to gain further insights. The short moving average indicated a buy signal just 2 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average gave a sell signal 30 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 98 days ago. If you want to explore more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for NEO. NEO, a popular stock, has an interesting support level at $6.06. .06. This level could potentially present a buying opportunity as we may see an upward reaction when the support is tested. When it comes to risk, NEO generally has average movements throughout the day. However, with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. Looking at the recent performance, the stock moved $0.380 between its high and low, which accounts for a 6.44% change. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 5.02%. Before we delve into potential trading levels for NEO, let's first review some essential fundamental data. Firstly, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, commonly known as the P-E ratio. This important ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either experiencing losses or is not profitable. Established companies may face temporary downturns due to external factors beyond their control. However, consistent negative P-E ratios could indicate insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Now, moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for March 6, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at dash $0.510. It is crucial to keep a close watch on these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Now, let's analyze some potential day trading levels for NEO. In the case of an upward trend, NEO faces its first resistance level at $6.55. If you don't currently hold any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. However, for those who already own the stock, this level could be considered for swing trading opportunities. On the downside, NEO encounters its initial support level at $6.06. .06. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, with the potential for a rebound. The combined average rating for NEO from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Now, let's take a closer look at some recent insider trades. On February 24, 2016, Citigroup Inc. conducted an insider sell of 850 shares of variable rate demand preferred shares. On February 23, 2016, Citigroup Inc. conducted an insider buy of zero shares of variable rate demand preferred shares. On February 24, 2015, Lamb David J. conducted an insider buy of zero shares. On September 11, 2014, Zimmerman Gifford R. conducted an insider sell of 700 shares of common stock. On March 18, 2013, Zimmerman Gifford R. conducted an insider buy of 700 shares of common stock. 
Based on the 47 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of 0, 0.000. Overall, insiders purchased 35,975 shares and sold 48,860 shares in the last 47 trades. We have conducted a thorough evaluation of this stock and unfortunately, our assessment is negative. It is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is NEO stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, we have identified several negative signals for NEO stock, leading us to anticipate weak performance in the upcoming days or weeks. As a result, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Upon examining the volatility and movements in the market during the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price of NEO is undervalued. Looking ahead to Tuesday, February 13th, we expect NEO to open up with a slight increase of $0.0067 and begin trading at $6.09. Trading carries a significant risk of financial loss, so it's crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding buying or selling securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be your sole basis for investment choices. By utilizing the information provided, you accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to discuss our current view of the stock. We value your opinion, so please feel free to comment below and share your thoughts. What target do you have in mind for this stock? We appreciate your support, so remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Our team wishes you successful trading and a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us here at Stock Invest.